Hey guys. So it is Saturday morning, uh, sorry, Saturday afternoon in New York City, closer to Saturday evening. It's almost 5 p.m. and came on here to talk to you guys for a little bit. I'm in the office working. Um, this summer, 2018, I've done barely nothing, handful of things, just kind of trying to roll out my projects and finish up all of my goals for 2018. And today it's one of those days where it's a little bit more difficult because it's beautiful outside. I got invited to uh, go to pool parties, two different pool parties today, really popping ones. But um, none of that actually matters because at the end of the day when you're trying to stay consistent and you are on a tight schedule on the projects that you want to roll out, so you're going to have to make sacrifices as an entrepreneur and you're going to have to stick to your deadlines. And speaking of deadlines, one of the projects I'm working on, I'm currently behind in uh, because I had some other things come up and there's no excuses for me not still not trying to get my things done. So uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the project that I am working on. Um, for the course of the last, since I did uh, the, two, the funding event, the 250K, I have been just sitting back and asking questions to my friends, followers, and audience on where I was trying to add the most value, right? So I just started asking all of my friends, followers, and audience different questions. Like, where can I help you guys? Um, what type of things are you guys struggling in on your day-to-day -day entrepreneurship journey or even in running your small business, operating your business? Um, so I took all the questions that I've got over the last three weeks, because for about um, three weeks, I think it's actually four weeks now, I've been just asking questions and gathering data. I actually started a spreadsheet to um, document all of those questions, and it came to my knowledge that a majority of my audience has been struggling in actually setting up their business correctly. Um, so they, they start their business, and then they start to get clients, but they are not organizing it correctly or setting a foundation for it to be able to build it so that it's a strong platform and they're growing faster and smarter versus then having to constantly rebuild their structure, rebuild their structure. Um, what do I mean by that? A lot of the questions are, hey Carmen, I, know how, I don't know how to set up my business finances. Um, a lot of the questions were, I don't know how to start, um, I don't know how to set up my business correctly to try to access business funds. A lot of the questions were, what do I need to actually access business funds? Um, a lot of the questions were, I'm getting, I don't know how to get started. I have one or two clients, but I don't know how to get a strong enough uh, workflow to be able to service my clients on an efficient level. Uh, some of the questions were, um, what was another one of the questions? I may actually pull up the spreadsheet. But in doing that, I'm like, okay, so if my audience is struggling with trying to set things up correctly to build strong platforms, maybe that's where I can offer um, my expertise and what I've built to try to help them. So that's kind of what I've been working on. I got a lot of finance questions as far as taxes. Um, they're not knowing how to prepare their business taxes or business finances. So I got really inspired and I put together um, this, I put together this series that I'm actually answering every question on YouTube. So we filmed a part of it this past week and we're gonna film the second part of it on Monday and then the third part of it um, right after Labor Day. So, I say all that to say, the questions that you guys are struggling with in your companies that you'd like to ask someone who is more experienced in business, has been done all of the things that you do, um, you want to learn from someone else's mistakes, I want you to definitely jot those questions down and where you're struggling in your business. I actually just got a new client today, um, well yesterday, of course, of course over the weekend, and 
he wanted me to do a full audit on his business. Hey, he's been running his business for, for he's been running his business for five years. However, um, his finances aren't organized. His uh, he has no current business credit. He has no current um, type of foundation set for him to access funds, and he's already paying staff and payroll, but not organized co um, completely. So his stuff is kind of all a mess. So I'm actually going to bring him on board and use him as something that's called a case study. So what's a case study? A case study is something that uh, a client that you're going to take on. Let's say you're trying to validate your business idea and figure out if it's a if it's a dope business idea. If it's going to work, you want to you're going to want to take a customer and use them as a case study because you're going to document from the beginning, the first day he signed up or asked you a question, to what you can actually provide for him and you're going to show evidence proof and screenshots and pictures and conversations and strategies and you're going if you can document all that and put it in some type of folder you'll have a case study um, so you'll be able to show what type of progress you made in your customer's life within your company within whatever type of business you're in right so this new client, I'm taking him on as a case study, um, someone that I'm going to take on. He is uh, five, has been five years in his business. He needs to organize his finances, organize his life, get ready for business funding, and uh, work to build some type of infrastructure within his company. So I'm gonna use him as a case study. And I told him it'll take us anywhere between six and 10 weeks where I'd like to get him a sweet spot for a couple of different things and then just document the journey and then be able to show my followers, friends and audience, like, hey, this is an example of someone that needed to clean up the infrastructure within their company. Look at what we did for them. So a couple of different things I'm just trying out and it's okay with even with you guys within building your companies or building your brands, it's okay to try to figure out what's going to work the best for you. Um, I'm, I'm thankful enough that I have a main company and a main business that has already been up and running and is established and profitable um, to be able to have extra time and extra capital and extra liquid to be able to uh, take on other ventures. So that's um, so in that case in, in my in my specific case I have the extra time to try to document different case studies figure out what other services that I feel comfortable with offering my clients or offering where I feel like if, if I want to wait to figure out the best product where I can figure out the best value for my audience and my friends and my followers then I'd rather do that than try to figure it out but either way um, I just took a lot of the questions that a lot of the people were having. He happened to be a question. That question turned into a conversation, and now he turned into a case study all in the course of five days. <laughs> so um, I'm excited about that. But either way, I'll be checking in regularly on you guys. Um, and then the YouTube series, I want you guys to watch out for it because I am going over a lot of the stuff that I've used to infrastructure my company successfully. So it's called From Basic to Business. And it's going to be a YouTube series on different tangible, actionable steps that I've used to build my company and make a solid foundation. So definitely want to tune in on the free value and info. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go over there and subscribe because I have a lot of stuff coming this fall and I am rolling out all my projects that I've been working on so quietly. So I'm excited. Either way, it's Saturday. Summer 2018, I wish I was out, but I'm not. I'm putting in the work. I'm executing everything that I've mapped out. I am, and I've mapped out a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> so this is my thinking board, my map, and everything I'm working on. So I am executing. I am putting in the grind work. I am not just talking. I'm doing, and I am putting in the time, energy, and effort to provide you guys value and figure out what I enjoy doing in the process of where I most can fit in, where we find a happy medium, right? I'm giving you guys value, I enjoy it, I feel like it's my perfect place, right? But either way, enough of me blabbing, let me get back to it. And if you guys have any questions that, want, that you want to be featured on my YouTube series from Basic to Business, make sure you reach out and let me know. Bye.